What's up guys, ZDGami here. Let's go through 40 stamina Hancock raid. Oh my goodness, the 60 stamina is giving me such, such trouble. Basically, I need to get some very, very lucky uh, orb sockets with her to be able to beat it. So we're just going to do the 40 stamina for our walkthrough video. And the big key difference in uh, my teams versus a successful 60 stamina team is I don't have Robin. If I had version 1 Robin, I would slap her right here in the Ivankov slot, and then I would just go to town. But without that, it's uh, quite a bit harder without version 1 Robin. So, what we're going to do is, for the first bunch of stages, we're just going to play it slow, play it cool, stall it out. These girls up here will either have a 1, 2, or 3 turn cooldown. And depending on them, you can stall out a little bit there. Uh, we're going to be looking for food orbs. The turtles will have 7 hit points on 60 stamina. The lobster will have 31 hit points on 60 stamina. And on 60 stamina, the turtles will hit for uh, 2,450. The lobster will hit for... Boop. Lobster will hit for 5,100 damage. But here we're just going to hit it. Stage 2 is one of the very, very difficult stages. And the reason is, stage 2 will have 6 characters of all Dex or all Psy characters. And on their turn, even if you stall them, even if you if you don't kill them, even if you stall them, do whatever, they will attack you and then, well if you stall them obviously they won't attack you, but they will silence your friend captain for 10 turns each. For 10 turns for each one that you don't kill on 60 stamina. And I don't think that is 4 hit points. But we'll just, we'll just heal. But on 40 stamina they only stall, they only uh, silence you for 5 turns. Which is significantly easier. So I'll kill all but one because that's just what happens on a Rayleigh team. If you're using a team like double Mihawk or something like that, you can kill them all, or if you bring a character like Kid or Zoro, you can actually use your specials to clear out this stage. My friend Captain will get silenced for five turns, it's only three turns, and it's not that bad. Because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use Golden Pound Usopp on this stage right here. And the reason we use Golden Pound Usopp here is that if we play it easy on turn four, we're going to stall on the penguin on turn 4 and have Golden Hunt Usopp ready again for Hancock herself. The girls in the back row here will attack you for uh, 6,900 if you're doing 60 stamina. And the girl up front will do 10,000 damage if you're doing 60 stamina. I'm going to try to give you all information about the 60 stamina raid because uh, that's what I assume people are trying to do. But unfortunately I can't. Can't quite handle it without getting lucky right now. I keep getting very, very close, but getting hit by that 20%. And this is one of the reasons why Mihawk is so good, is that uh, Hancock has two, is one of the raids with two phases. And with the two phases, you have to kill her twice. This girl right here will have a 26 hit combo reduction. That means the first 26 hits you do to her will just get completely ignored. So you can either have to stall her for 10 turns, Take those hits, which are very hard. Or you can bring Golden Pound Usopp. If you have Golden Pound Usopp, uh, two characters with five hit combos, you can still hit her with uh, one or two hits. So you don't need to bring a high hit com You don't need to go out of your way to find high hit combo characters. You can just hit her with whatever you have. I'm going to. I guess I did need to heal. All I need is one orb. I'm going to just do a tiny bit more damage. Oops! Well, that's not good. I accidentally killed her. Since I accidentally killed her, I'm going to have to spend some more time here stalling on the penguin. This Elder Seahorse on 70 stamina, on 60 stamina, has 7 hit points. It's a very mean thing for them to do because up until now, Elder Seahorse always have 6 hit points, just like this one does. But the Elder Seahorse has 7 hit points on the 60 stamina version. The penguin will give himself a defense buff, a percent defense buff after his attack. So we're just gonna look for food orbs and wait for Gold Hunt Usopp to get down to two turns. 
while looking for some nice int orbs ourselves. Here we go, he's gonna attack us. If he attacks on the 60 stamina, he'll attack you for 6,500 damage. Nice, food orbs, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Doo -doo -doo. Punch its face, punch its face. And then, uh, Hancock will do a preemptive attack, but the preemptive attack will do nothing. So Hancock will preemptively just attack, uh, just give you a free turn, basically. So I have to keep that in mind. If you, if my Rayleigh's were ready, I could use my Rayleigh on stage four, and it'll kill everything but leave the penguin at about half health. So that's something very nice to do. Use your Rayleigh on turn four to kill everything, including the Elder Seahorses, but leave the Penguin at half health. So, Hancock, under 50%, she has about 2.7, she has 2.72 million health on 60 stamina. Under half health, she'll skip her attack and boost her defense by 50%, oh, she'll reduce damage taken by 50%. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit her a couple times. The first turn, what she'll do is she will shuffle your orbs and give you... Uh, so you're going to get your orbs. Anything that's non-tandem orb or non-bother orb. So non-tandem food or... I mean, non-tandem or food orbs will get shuffled. If you get a matching orb, she'll make it into a bother orb. If the orb didn't match like all mine did, she'll just give you a tandem orb. So that's, that's a little bit confusing, I'll go again. And she'll repeat this every other turn. So her first turn, she'll do this. Her third turn, she'll do this. Her fifth turn, she'll do this. Uh, chances are you won't live much longer after that. But that's, if you have a tandem orb or a food orb, it'll be left alone. If it's a matching orb, it'll become a bother orb. If it's a any other orb, then it'll become a tandem orb. So what I can do here is I can just wait this out. I can just... In fact, I think I will. I'm just going to throw away my food orbs, keep her above 50%, so that way she doesn't put up her defense buff. And then what she'll do is, uh, under 50%, she skips her first attack, and then the next turn, when she actually attacks, she'll deal 6,800 damage, fixed damage, uh, on 60 stamina. So I'm just throwing away my combo orbs, trying to find an int orb. There we go. So she clears all buffs and deep. Oh, uh, she clears all buffs and debuff on herself every other turn. So remember, that's tur every odd number turn. So turn one, three, five. She shuffles your orbs. On turns four, uh, two, four, six, she'll clear debuffs just like Enel does. But now we're going to use Doflamingo. Give me my beautiful orbs. I'm going to move. This here and this here. Get myself three, four matching orbs. I'm gonna go one, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that should kill her. If I, if you put Hancock to 20%, if she ever gets to 20%, she will lock your entire team for 20 or 30 turns, depending on the difficulty, and then kill you. There's just nothing to do if you get her under 20%. If you get her under 20% and she survives, you are dead. Do not do that. It's It will kill you no matter what team you use. There's nothing that makes you survive 20 turn hits. Or 20 turns of trying to tank Hancock. So there you go. She revives. She'll cut your health by half when she revives. And she heals herself up to 20% health. And then she'll lock one random character on your one of your bottom four random ca characters randomly. If she didn't lock your Mihawk like she did in here, we use Mihawk. And then Mihawk does half of her damage and boom, kills her. Otherwise, things you can do is you, can, uh, you just really want to try to bring characters that will help you burst her down again. So it's very hard to get that second burst down. But one key, 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 key thing that I cannot stress enough is having a Robin. Version 1 Robin. If you have version 1 Robin, you can use version 1 Robin on stage 2 to make sure you kill everything on stage 2, then you don't have to use your Doflamingo. If you have... Yeah, she can lock any of your bottom 4 characters, so, it's, so just not your captains. But, uh, man. 
this Hancock is a toughie. I'm gonna keep trying. Hopefully I can get lucky with my orbs, but right now I just haven't gotten lucky enough to actually beat her. I've gotten literally, literally no matching orbs whenever all I need is one matching orb to kill her with Dilfamingo. But even then, my team won't be able to beat her consistently. It's taken me maybe five tries to not kill her at all on 60 stamina. But with the version 1 Robin that I don't have, I could definitely kill her from like 50%. I could easily burst her down from 50%. If I had version 1 Robin without that, I need to get her down to like 40%, which that 10% makes a big difference. You're talking about 270,000 damage. Anyways, guys, good luck. I haven't seen Igami. Y'all stay beautiful.